Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am so excited that you're here. I'm even more excited about the fact that this is my first video of 2022. Happy New Year. I cannot believe we're already in 2022. With the start of this new year, I feel like a lot of people are, will be going back in person. For those of you that don't know, I graduated in May 2021. Ever since then, ever since April actually, I've been working at a company in New York City and I've been fully in person. Because of that, I I feel like I've perfected my work bag belongings and I want to help you guys perfect yours too. So for today, I'm going to show you what's in my work bag for 2022 as someone who commutes from New Jersey to New York City. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So starting off, this is my backpack. I got this from Amazon. I haven't fully yet transitioned to having like a purse or like a handbag or tote bag or whatever you want to call it because I have a long commute. So I ideally want to make things as easy as possible for me. Therefore, I have a backpack. Let's get into what my backpack looks like. In the front, there's a large pocket right here. This holds so many things. And then there's one big pocket right here, which opens up. I'll also show you that. And then there's a chain in the back right here, which basically leads to the back section of the backpack. All right, so starting off with this front pouch right here, I'm just going to open it. And this is kind of what it looks like. You can't really see much yet because one thing is covering. It. First things first, I have a small pack of Kleenex tissues. This is because the flu season is happening, cold, COVID, whatever, so many things happening. Tissues are necessary. And then, of course, I have my wallet. This card holder was a gift to me and I use it every day for all my cards. Next, I have my AirPods. If you're a commuter and anyone in general, honestly, everyone needs headphones of some sort. So for me, AirPods is my choice. And I have this cute little case that I got from Amazon to put them in. Next, I have this keychain. TikTok had sent it to me last year. This is for pressing elevator buttons phone. And this is to open doors. You can just hook this thing into a door handle and just open it like that. If there's anything COVID has made me, it's made me into a germaphobe. And I'm not about touching any random random handles, especially in New York City. So I like to keep this handy just so I can use it to open things. <laughs> Next up, I have, okay, I have a little camera remote thing. This remote basically connects to my phone via Bluetooth and you can just use it to click pictures. If I'm wearing a nice fit one day or I feel like taking pictures in the city and there's no one around, I like to prop up my phone and basically take pictures by myself. Next up, I have a little claw clip. If I don't feel like having my hair out, I just tie it up. Going along with my hair, I have this foldable brush that I keep in here. Here. This basically opens up like this and then you can push this part out for it to be a hairbrush. It also has a mirror and it's basically a really clutch hairbrush for work whenever you want to just touch up your hair real quickly. I also have two disposable masks, you know, COVID things. Next up, I have hand sanitizer. Everyone basically always has hand sanitizer in their backpacks regardless, but especially right now, this is very, very clutch. Next, I have... All right, this pack is open, but I have lots of these Advil little packs for any time that, you know, if I get a headache or something and I just need a quick little pain reliever. And then I have my Metro card, which if you want to commute or use the subway in any way in New York City, you need a Metro card. Now that you can also use Apple Pay, but I like to keep a Metro card. I don't even use the Metro card anymore because I commute from New Jersey. And for that, I use the SmartLink Pass. The SmartLink pass is really really beneficial if you use the path from New Jersey to New York City and then of course there is my ID all right so that is it for this pocket it's all empty I don't think I mentioned this but there's also a little pocket here on the side for water bottle I use the water bottle pocket they have inside but outside I would normally put like an umbrella or something if it's a rainy day and they also have this thing on the side we're going into the big pocket this big pocket opens up like this. You can kind of get an inside look. 
I was really surprised by the amount of things that you can actually fit in there. I for sure would recommend this backpack to like anyone. Digging right into it, there is two pockets on the top, if you can see that. And in one of those pockets, I have two pens. These are my Muji pens in the color black and blue. I like to have pens in there because I also have a journal in there. This is a little perfume. I got this in one of my Ipsy bags. It smells so freaking good. This is the Kenzie So pretty perfume like this is the perfect size for me to keep in my backpack and then i also have a set of my blue light glasses now my orthodontist told me that blue light glasses are basically a scam but i don't really care because if blue light glasses if i put them on it makes me feel that i'm getting less of a headache i'll take it and the next pocket is my battery pack this is something that i did not have for the first few months and then one time my phone died and i was stuck because i couldn't see the train schedule back and i was a mess i couldn't even get my tickets because i only have my ticket for ng transit on my phone and i couldn't even get that i was using apple pay everywhere and i couldn't use apple pay because my phone was dead and i didn't want to ask a stranger to borrow his charger and it was like i was a mess so battery pack learn my lesson you should definitely keep your battery pack in there and then just in case my battery pack is ever out of battery i also have this extension to my phone charger that i can use to plug into my macbook um this is the USB C to USB converter whatever that i keep attached to my phone charger so i can charge my phone using my laptop and in this big pocket, of course, I have my MacBook. This is my work laptop. And then there's also this inside, there's this inside water bottle pouch that I use to keep my water bottle. And this is my water bottle full of lots and lots of dents, but this is my favorite thing ever. And I bring it every day. This is my thermal flask. And then in the main pocket, I have, I am putting this new journal. This is the routine journal. If you guys want to know what this journal is about, you can check out my last video about resetting for 2022, where I go into detail how I'll be using this journal for the new year. So I have this journal in here. Next up, I have a book that I'm reading. This is People We Meet on Vacation. Book talk, if you're watching this, comment down below what other books I should read because TikTok and 2021 really really got me into reading books when i don't have a physical book i just read it on my phone and then i have a little makeup kit this is a bag that i got from ipsy inside i have just quick little touch up kind of makeup products so i just have blush mascara a blush brush tiny little eyeliner and some lip oil and then i also have my chapstick which is something i use every day especially in the winter time another thing i use every day especially in the winter time is my hand cream. I wash my hands uh, way too often and also in the winter time your hands just get so so dry so hand lotion. A uh, necessity. And then last thing I have is snacks. So I have an addiction to snacks, especially the ones that are in my office. So I'll always have snacks in my backpack. Let me see if there's anything else. Last but not least, I have a pair of sunglasses in here. The reason I keep sunglasses in here is because by, by any chance it's sunny one day and you just want to step up your game or step up your outfit, you have sunglasses ready to go. These are just a very simple brand of sunglasses that I got from Shein but it steps up every outfit, like even this one. So I like to keep a pair of sunglasses in my backpack. All right, guys. So that was it for my work bag in 2022. For those of you who are about to start working in person and move away from your work from home life, I hope this helped. And for those of you who just love having a backpack, even if you're work from home, I hope this helped as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Stay tuned for a lot more adult content like this. And by adult, I mean like adulting. This is very new to me because mentally, I mention this every video, but I'm still in March 2020 and I feel like my transition from college student to a full adult having my own nine to six corporate job was kind of like whoa what just happened here for those of you who are feeling that way i have lots and lots of adulting content coming up so stay tuned and if you guys have any ideas or have any questions for what my work life is in new york city what my commute looks like or anything related to that feel free to leave it in the comments below i would be more than happy to reply or even make a video about it with that said that is it for 
for this video. I will see you guys in my next video. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, everything like that. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.